Boy, look in the background, back here. Look at all them pretty mountains, and trees, and grass, and, and whoo. Hey, y'all hold on a minute. Stay tuned. Let's talk about all this pretty grass and all this, all this uh, pollen and ragweed and things that's floating through the air down here in East Tennessee. Hold on a minute. Don't go nowhere. There's a vlog coming up. trailer or whatever look like they fit to go somewhere man golly that's gonna be me in a couple of weeks but i'm gonna come in here and talk to you about the allergies if you suffer from allergies east tennessee is probably the worst you could ever be good gracious i've suffered with that stuff for years and uh, being up here at the Smoky Mountains, and I know everybody will say, well, it's bad over here, it's bad over where I live too. I'm sure it is, but according to the doggone, whoever puts out this information on the internet, you know if it's on the internet, it's true. Say that East Tennessee is one of the worst places to live if you suffer from allergies. I, and I've and hey, I believe it to be so. So last year, I had what they call a, I don't know if it's rhinoseptic or, well anyway, they, and, and, and my terminology or what they done, they drilled out my damn nose hole and made it where I don't stop up anymore. I used to totally shut down, you hear me? shut down and with me even saying that it may be a little soon for me to have this open face helmet but that's all right it's on but now i i don't i don't shut down uh i don't shut down in the damn winter you know when you got your heat blowing getting getting all that stuff stirred up in your damn heat system i didn't shut down my nose will run that was a problem my nose would run but it, it wouldn't run out i would just stop up that damn surgery was one of the best surgeries I could have had. Man, that damn first week was terrible. Let me, let me just tell you that right now, boy. That first week was horrible. God almighty, like somebody whooped my ass. You hear me? Nose bleeding for days. I had some little plastic stents stuck up my damn nose. Man, I was one of the jerk them bad boys out. I had to leave them in for a week. But it took me about two weeks to heal. And boy, when he pulled them damn things out of my damn nose, I could smell everything. And it didn't stop me up. As a matter of fact, I had it done, I guess about a month or two before I went to Alaska and was so happy I did it. I got a chance to really smell, you know, uh, British Columbia, Canada. Somebody broke down on the side of the road up for a motorcycle. 
popping. Oh, he's shooting video or something. They might be doing some YouTubing. But, uh, uh, yeah, man, I smelled everything going up. Smelled everything going down. I love it. So, this year, I, I'm hoping to still feel that where I'm not stopped up and can't breathe. And even some of the videos I was shooting, I was, uh, uh, uh. you know, I could hear it when I was doing my video. I'm like, Lord have mercy, I'm huffing and puffing. Like a daggum, uh, three little pigs huffing and puffing until I blow the, big, uh, the house down. But yeah, I think this is going to be good. I'm not stopped up. The ragweed and the pollen is all, it's in the air. Everything's floating around right now. Everything's blooming. I can smell it. It smells good to me, that fresh air. I like riding with my face out as much as possible. And here I am. Shoot. I did have to raise the windshield up just about, it may be at the highest setting, I'm not sure, just to get that 55 degree or 65 degree angle that the uh, mad stand recommends you to have. And I got up early, put that wind over my head, no problem. I'm digging that mad stand. I always kind of thought it was a little funky looking, you know, with the little brackets in the middle. Didn't know how I would like it, if it would kind of be bothering my vision. It don't. So I cleaned it up real good, and I already got bugs all on it. That's all I know. That's what it's made for. Anyway, I'm headed to work. I thought I'd jump on here and put that on your head about ragweed and that doggone septic diversion rhino. I don't know what the hell they call it. I'm not no damn doctor. But damn it, it worked. It worked. But I did, they did prescribe me like a little flush. Who, who, who knew? I think they got a, a, a navage. You got a machine to do it, but I just use that doggone netty, the netty pack. Uh, stick it in one nose and squeeze it, flush it out this side, and flush it out that side, and keep it doggone moving. Keep it doggone moving, y'all. But I got to get some gas before I run out and be pushing this damn thing to damn work. And that ain't finna happen, y'all. So let's go get some gas. Let's see how much gas is these days. Come on. gasoline that's the flavor I like to put in here as much as I possibly can that is 359 a gallon regular it's about 50 cent more if I got this regular with some ethanol in it I'm gonna run it down for 100 percent According to that damn thing, it said I put 5.975 gallons in this bike. $21.50. 5.9, leak. that means I was there, I was low, I was low low. I'd be ashamed of myself for getting that damn low. Anyway, let's get out of here, y'all.
All right, you guys. This right here might be a familiar look to you. This is the F6B. That is the Supervisor's 2003 bagger model. This is another co-worker's bike. This is the same co-worker that owns his Honda, owns his Harley, pretty clean. You may be seeing these two bikes on the California ride with me. You won't be seeing that one, my F6B. I'm taking the full wing, but you may end up seeing these bikes. There's a red one, and this gray or silver or gunmetal, I'm not sure what they call this. Maybe my supervisor let me ride a couple of hundred miles with it. What y'all think? All right, man, let's get this money. We have food line. That's what pets pay for all this stuff. Peace. for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these.